Boxy Media Incorporated presents an introduction to vessel and barge equipment and terminology. Working on the inland and intercoastal waterways as a member of a towboat, pushboat, or tugboat crew is an exciting outdoor job that every day offers new and challenging opportunities. With hard work, a willingness to learn, and a commitment to safety, you can develop a rewarding career with outstanding opportunities for advancement to the wheelhouse or engine room. If you're new to the bulk cargo handling profession, you will most likely begin in the position of deckhand. The other members of your crew, depending upon which type and size of boat you will be working on, may include additional deckhands, tankermen, engineers, a mate, pilot, and captain. Since you may one day be working one, if not all, of these jobs, it's important to ask questions and help out whenever you can. Due to the fact that inland and coastal waterways support a diverse fleet of cargo handling vessels and barges, it is possible that you could work with one or several different types of towboats, tugs, and barges. The galley is the boat's kitchen, and most boats come professionally equipped to maximize convenience and comfort with luxuries such as microwaves, ice machines, TVs, and VCRs. You can expect good food and plenty of it. The galley also doubles as the entertainment area when crew members are off watch. The head is the dockside equivalent of the bathroom and is where the toilet and showers are located. The bunk room is where crew members sleep and stow their gear. You will most likely be sharing it with another crew hand. Moving down below the main deck, we find the engine room located deep within the hull. From here, power is generated by the boat's engines to turn the props or wheels to move the tug and its tow. A light plant develops electrical power to the boat's support equipment. The engine room is equipped with numerous pieces of auxiliary equipment you should become familiar with, such as the air compressor, which produces and stores compressed air for various mechanical and support systems aboard the boat. You'll also find a fuel pump, lube pump, and water and ballast pumps, all of which are usually electrically powered. On larger towboats, an upper deck is located above the main cabin and provides bunk rooms and a head for wheelhouse personnel. The top deck of the towboat is the wheelhouse, encircled by glass windows for maximum visibility. This is the brains or business end of the boat from which the captain or wheelman controls the boat's movement. Many electronic devices can be found. It's part of the deckhand's job to couple barges together to make them navigable as a rigid one-piece unit. His tools for this task are barge winches and a set of rigging. A barge winch is a hand-powered winch used to tighten barge rigging when laying fore and aft wires. Hand winches are not always available on all barges. A set of rigging comprises of a ratchet, a 35-foot wire coupling, and chains or a hula hoop. Used in combination, these components can prove to be very effective in coupling barges together. When using a set of rigging, the wire is run around two timber heads and attached to the ratchet. The ratchet is jerked into place to remove slack in the wire and attached to the chain slam. The ratchet comprises of several components, including the ratchet handle, dog, pawl, barrel, pelican, and keeper. A toothpick is a long metal pipe which is inserted in chain links in the coupling to prevent the ratchet, links, and wires from turning as the ratchet is tightened. 